Hi kids! Today we will learn how a pulley makes our work easier. So let's start! We know machine is anything that makes our work easier. A machine can be a simple machine or a complex machine. Simple machine is a simple mechanical structure that is made up of no or few moving parts. Example, a lever, a pulley, an inclined plane, a wedge, or a screw. And complex machine is a machine that is made up of two or more simple machines. It can be a scissors, wheelbarrow, drill, or just many. Whether it's a simple or complex machine, they give all of us some mechanical advantage. That is, lesser force is required to do the work than doing it without the machine. Today, we will learn a simple machine, which is a pulley. A pulley is a wheel with an axle, where edges of the wheel are grooved, so that some rope can pass around this groove edge of the wheel. And this rope is used to raise heavy objects. Pulleys can be used in many ways to lift loads. Now let's see what is the advantage of using pulleys. If you want to lift a very heavy object, but your body cannot apply that much force, you can use this simple machine, pulley. Let's see how. You can attach the object to one end of the rope and let this rope pass through the groove edge of the wheel. Now, other end of the rope is free, which can be pulled to lift the object. A pulley helps you to reverse the direction of your lifting force. So, as in the picture below, you pull the rope downwards to lift the weight up. And if you want to lift something that weighs about 100 kg, you have to pull down with a force equivalent to 100 kg. If you want to raise the weight one meter into the air, you have to pull the loose end of the rope a total distance of one meter at the other end. So, pulley changes the direction of force required to lift the object. As you can see, in the picture. You are not required to apply force in the direction in which you want to lift the object. It won't give you much mechanical advantage, that is, won't make your work much easier, but the more the number of pulleys, the lesser the amount of force required to do the work. We will learn more about it later. Pulleys are of two types. They can be fixed pulleys and movable pulleys. Fixed pulleys are those where the pulley is tied to a bar or a beam and the pulley doesn't move at all when the rope is pulled. It just changes the direction of the force and there is no multiplication of force. If you lift something without a pulley, you are required to apply force in an upward direction. And when you use a pulley, the direction of force changes and now the direction of force required is downwards. And it's easier to apply the force in a downward direction than applying in an upward direction. Now let's see what is movable pulley. In case of movable pulley, pulley is not tied to any beam or bar. One end of the rope is tied to the fixed beam or bar. Other end is free to be pulled by any other person. And the pulley is in the center to which the object is attached. This way, the weight of the object is shared between the fixed bar and the person pulling it. It is a pulley that moves along with the load. That is, both the pulley and the load is movable. The load moves in the direction of force applied. It takes less force 
to lift or move the object than moving with your hands only. And the more the number of pulleys and supporting ropes, the smaller the force required. So a movable pulley multiplies the force. Now let's see what is a compound pulley. Compound pulleys are also called block and tackle. Is a combination of a fixed and one or more movable pulleys. A simple pulley only redirect or changes the direction in which force is applied and does not give us much mechanical advantage. But a compound pulley or a block and tackle pulley is able to reduce the effort required to do the work. Example, if the work involves lifting a 100 pound weight, a compound pulley made up of two pulley wheels and a longer rope reduces the lifting force to only 50 pounds. More greater reductions are possible with more number of pulley wheels and longer threads. But these systems take a lot of space. So kids, Today we learned a lot about pulleys. We learned pulleys are of two types, fixed pulleys and movable pulleys. And we also learned that a single pulley does not give us mechanical advantage, that is, does not reduce the amount of effort required, but only changes the direction in which the force is required to be applied. But compound pulleys, that is, where more number of pulleys are there, gives us some mechanical advantage. That is, they reduce the amount of force required to do the work. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye!